I'm curious because we have been, we have been fans of you for a very long time. Look, Rhea and I are One Tree Hill super fans. Not didn't want to say it right <laughs> off the bat, but we. All right, we've uh, broken the ice. You go. We've broken the ice. Yeah, I, uh, who isn't though? You know what I mean? You you can't really find yeah. somebody who hasn't watched the show, or at least in my personal opinion, in my life. It's it's pretty fascinating. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's um the show is you know, with streaming services and everything was rebirthed to a whole new generation. I mean, when I go to these conventions and I cross paths yeah. with thirteen year old girls who weren't even born when we started watching the show, when we started filming the show. And <laughs> They're avid fans and they love Lucas and they're so excited about the relationships and they want to know everything. And they're wearing Tree Hill, you know, uh, Ravens jerseys or cheerleader, cheerleading uniforms. It blows my mind. I mean, it, it, the show really spoke to a generation and, uh, you know, it's just a, it's an honor to have that uh, experience. Yeah. Yeah. We had, um, we actually had Hillary on our show a, f- a few months back. Unfortunately, it was through this, through Zoom as well, <laughs> of, course. Um, of course, but just the way that we have heard you guys talk about this show makes us almost love the show even more because y- you guys have such a love for it and a respect for the people that you were working with and you guys have this connection and you're like a, a family that has all grown together. Um, I saw that Tyler Hilton on the Today Show said that you guys have a dad's group chat now called wild dads <laughs> can you confirm <laughs> uh I, I i am the worst texture in the world i have been a part of these chats i don't <laughs> jump on these chats often however one i'm dadding it up right <laughs> but tyler has reached out time and time again we've discussed just different parenting things right and it's teach his own everyone has a different style but i think colin he's kind of leading the pack because he's got the most kids um and uh, he played junk on the show. And mm-hmm. so he's got the most kids. So on the dad chat, you know, we got that. And then Antoine, Antoine's like the senior uh, rep of the guys because you know, he had kids before any of us. He had kids when we were on the show. Mm-hmm. So he's like, oh, you just wait till they're teenagers. And, you know, and, and we laugh about that. But it's funny because you can, you really lean on each other, especially when we come together once or twice a year for these, for these cons and we, we meet the fans and all the guys and girls, we get to go backstage and, some of us bring our kids and, and it's always mix and match of who brings their kids. I always bring my kids, but uh, the kids are there. And so the kids get to meet each other and the parents all come together. And, you know, you see like uh, Brett Claywell, um, uh, he just had a kid. He had a baby uh, this past year. And so meeting his baby was just like, I mean, it just makes your heart uh beat and and it's just it's beautiful i love it i love it so yes there there's chats and everyone reaches out um but these threads end up getting blown up and next thing you know like you're in the middle of one of these and you look down you're going oh no and there's 457 text messages (laughs) and then you put it on do not disturb and then you're good right all because the baby had you know an accident and you're going yes we know we know blowout i get it i get it i get it you know, I mean, one of my first experiences, and I probably would have posted this back in the day if that chat was around. We were on a plane, my wife and I, and uh, uh, she takes our daughter and because we have to split up because there's not four seats in a row. And um, so she had uh, our daughter, I had my son, and we were flying to Paris. And within the first hour of the flight, sure enough, you know, we had like a, a baby was only six months. You know, things happen. Kids got to go to the bathroom and sometimes things happen. And next thing you know, it's on my wife's clothes. And <laughs> you're now on a flight and you're only an hour into your Paris flight. And you're going, this will humble you quick. Yeah. yeah. Like, can we turn this plane around? <laughs> Bring you smashing <laughs> right down is. to earth. And so these are the kind of things that are discussed in the chat. <laughs> That's things, amazing. Things we can't relate to yet, but we're already preparing ourselves hearing from you. Oh, you guys are going to be great. You're going to be awesome. <laughs> Look forward to it. It's the greatest adventure. Single-handed greatest adventure in the world. Love you it. You know what? That's great to hear because I feel like nowadays you just hear so many people complaining. Like you'll, you'll hear people complaining about their kids all the time and you're like, damn, like why'd you even have them then? You sound miserable. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't subscribe to that. You know, I think yeah. teachers, I'm not going to judge anybody for, you know, the way that they come go about it. But yeah, I, we hear it all the time. Um, no, your children are, they're not a burden. 
new mm-hmm. children are not work. And it's, it's a joy. It is like the most pure joy in the world. You know, I mean, we're really blessed. We got two kids and, and, and we're lucky enough, of course, to keep the pack together. Right. So there's mom and dad with the kids all together, right. Two parents to the kids so that, that I think that breaks it up a little bit and that helps a lot, yeah. but man, it's awesome. Yeah. Love it. 